slouch or you sit all day at your desk, what can you do to change your posture? We welcome Lisa Yang, posture and movement specialist at the Queen's Women's Health Center in this morning's Ask a Specialist. Good morning to you. Good morning, Good to you. Ron. Welcome back. Uh, you know, we were talking off camera, but a lot of folks do this. Kids, adults, what are some of the harmful effects of poor posture? Posture can affect the way you look, yep. the way you feel, your energy level, the way you move and work out, but 70% of pain, acing pain, come from poor posture. And then also your, the shape and tone of your body is affected by your posture. So not just appearance, but things that are really can affect your health. Yes, yes. Really can affect your health. And what, what, what are some of the causes? Some of the causes is definitely number one is prolonged sitting. We're just sitting so much in front of a computer. Mm -hmm. uh, second is our occupation, what we do repetitively to, uh, throughout the day for eight to 10 hours. And third is our hobbies and our habits. So a good example, if you could do this demonstration okay, with me. Imagine this ball here. It's only okay. three pounds. Is your head. Right. And you're going to hold it up. Okay. You're going to keep that wrist nice and straight. Right now, your wrist is slightly bent. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So if, imagine this is your head, and you're just looking down at your phone, and you're texting. Mm -hmm. Drop that. Oh, yeah. And hold it. Mm -hmm. You feel that discomfort? I feel the discomfort. Yes. And that's your neck. But the reason you don't feel it is because we have traps. Right. These shoulders that holds it. And that's why people build these tissue and cause pain. <laughs> Shaking. Yes. So your head, I mean, your, plus our head is very he heavy. Yes, 8 yeah. to 10 pounds. A lot of people don't realize that. And for every yeah. inch that your head is out of alignment, that's double amount of weight of your, on your spine. So with that in mind, what can we do about this to get it there? So number one is awareness uh -huh. that you're in a certain position and you got to move. Every 30 minute, move around and, and stretch the upper body, the lower body, stretch the opposite direction. For example, if you're on a mouse key a lot, mm -hmm. you need to move the hand in the opposite direction. I see. You know, if you're hunching over, you got to bring your, your shoulders back. But um, the awareness is a huge key, so that's why I teach a class at Still and Moving. Uh, I'm sorry, I teach a class at Cree Medical Center called uh, Posture and Flexibility with the Fitness Q. It's all about awareness, and the Fitness Q is a product I co-invented okay. to get people to slow down and really think about what they're doing and how their body is, is Show us is what moving. you do. So the fitness gear has groove and slide that detect uh -huh. symmetry on the left and right side of the shoulder and sp a spinal alignment and range of motion for the shoulder. So three things will happen. It gets wobbly, it gets stuck, it gets uneven. So we get the feedback of the feeling of it rubbing against your, your body, reminding you to maintain spinal alignment so you're not rounding right. forward, but engaging your core and working on symmetry, getting you to focus on moving your body equally on both sides, because we have a dominant side we overuse. So it gets wobbly, it gets stuck, it gets uneven if the user is not thinking about what they're doing al yeah. al align. Yeah. And it's not just, like we talked about it earlier, it's not just about keeping your back erect, right? I mean, there's so much more to posture that we should know about. So much more, because we've been told, don't slouch. Right. Lift your chest up, throw your shoulder back. Now we're arching our back and creating c compression in the lumbar spine. And we're not really utilizing the right muscle, like the core. So yeah. in the class, we really assess with the wall, and each person is so different. Right. Yeah. You know, if, if you, well, she, Lisa does a part of a wide range of specialists who offer classes at the Queen's Women's Health Center. She teaches the posture and flexibility class. If you are interested, men or women? Yes. All right. Improving your uh, posture. Sign up. The next session runs from January 23rd to March 6th. It happens on Mondays from noon to 1 at the Queens uh, Medical Center. The register and details and everything else you need to know, go to the Queens referral line, 691-7117, and uh, make your life better. I mean, it's not just about your appearance. It's about your health. Yes. It is. For the rest of the day, Kelly and I will be doing this the rest of the day, right? Yeah. <laughs> we will be very and neck, don't forget. Volume very much. Have a great day. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much.